let's talk about in terms of kind of starting from where we are, like how, how are we growing it? How are you growing the business right now? Mm-hmm. Like what are you doing for marketing? If anything, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's such an it's such a funny thing to market because there's so many photographers out there, mm. you know, and there's there's also a lot of picture takers out there, and it's uh, it's kind of how do you differentiate yourself in all the noise? Um, my marketing is really just you know, I mean, Instagram, that's where we are these days. Social media house, that's where that's where the, <laughs> that's where the dollars go. Yeah, um, I've done a, I've done a variety of outreach on. You know, for example, I do headshots, right? So there's corporate headshots and there's creative headshots for actors, writers, jur- you know, journalists, whatever. Yeah. Um, just kind of message those groups, you know, find those acting groups uh, in Toronto through Facebook and say, hey guys, quick self-promotion here, you know, sh- you know shameless self-promotion. Mm. I do this. Here's a photo, like as an example, you know, reach out. Yeah. And I've had a few leads come in that way. Mm. You know, LinkedIn, I did the same thing. Put up a post on LinkedIn and then you get a few people message you from there. So that's kind of been the, the approach for that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any more creative approach I can, I can bring to it. Um, it's kind of just outreach, right? Just yeah. consistently just being like, hey, this is what I do in, in all the places where you could find your client. Yep. Um, How many messages did you say you put out like in a day or a week? You know what? I, the frequency that I do it at is not that high. Mm-hmm. It's probably... Uh, twice a month I'll, I'll hit those pages i was just in the bit, middle of a big mo- uh, move mm. for, from you know moving around so uh, i've kind of slowed down on the outreach i'm just holding down the projects i have going yeah uh, but no this coming week i need to do a big reset and say okay what is my marketing strategy and where am i going to be how often or how frequent will i be there and that sort of thing yeah so. one thing that uh i've suggested to like salons and stuff like that where it's kind of not it's it's a different service but there's similarities to it right like you know there's no hard cost except for your time like your time is the only right right yeah is the only piece same same thing with in a salon right if your chair is empty what can you be doing could be cutting hair trying to get some exposure so i've I've had a lot of success well people have had success uh going on instagram finding by locations and then you can see like the top posts or the most recent posts in the locations. Usually the top posts are good for people that are, it's usually people that already have a following and their, their likes and their comments have surged them to the top of the, right. the top the posts algorithm in a given right. section. Yeah. So like, you know, old town or cork town or downtown, like whatever different area they'll right. have. Um, you can even look, even look it up by hashtag. So you'll see right. the top posts top, in that Yeah, area. those top nine, right? Something like that. Yeah, so what I would do is is take a look at those every once a day, see who those people are. They might be great candidates to do a headshot for free if you Ooh. don't have anybody coming Very in. Very interesting, right? Yeah. Hey, you know, love your Instagram account. Uh, would love to do a headshot for you if you, know, if you want to give me a shout out on, on Instagram. Right, 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 right. And then they do either a post or a story that goes out to their... That is a very interesting way to market my 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 service a service mm-hmm. that a lot of photographers do i, right. I felt weird saying my <laughs> like i invented the headshot right um but no that is a very interesting idea you know you have people with the reach mm. uh that that you can benefit from i mean this is how advertising works that's mm. kind of how instagram survives right uh, as a marketing tool and yeah know. and from from the from kind of the salon example it's a great way so people are going to want to showcase what you did for them right it's not like it's not like consulting or it's not like hey i built this thing for you right it's like right. hey look i got a beautiful picture of my face like people are going to put it out absolutely anyway. yeah, even yeah. just the organic reach of like they switch their photo on linkedin they switch their photo on here oh shit where'd you get that oh yeah. this guy does it i yeah right so f- I, to me filling in you know you don't want to do a million for free but if you find like the right the people, right people. to do them for mm-hmm. that could bring you endless streams of people i think yeah that is definitely a very neat idea i like this the content sessions <laughs> <laughs> it's working out well. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you made a really good point, though. You said, like, you know, when people start putting those photos up, mm. then they get messaged, and that kind of filters, those referrals filter through to me, right? Yeah. And, I mean, look, you're always going to have the issue of, like, you don't know where their following is. It might not be super local. It might not be right. that practical. Um, but if it's between that and sitting in their space twiddling your thumbs, yeah, exactly. you might as well just exactly. be, be doing it, right? 100%.